Hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're gonna to be doing a review and wear test of the all new One Size Turn Up The Base Full Beat Liquid Foundation. So the One Size Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer is one of my all time favorite concealers. The only one that has ever surpassed that one is the Natasha Denona. I've had some come close, but that concealer is an all time favorite. So once I saw that they were coming out with this, I knew I had to try it out. So this is actually available in 38 shades. It's currently available at Sephora. And this does retail for $44 US dollars or $59.50 Canadian. But this does have some really interesting claims. So this says it's a long wear, waterproof, sweatproof foundation formulated with only 16 ingredients that gives a full coverage and maximum comfort to visibly blur and smooth without clogging pores. That sounds amazing. So on the box here, it does say full coverage, soft matte, sweat proof, waterproof, long wear and weightless, won't clog pores, dermatologist tested. I'm very intrigued by the only 16 ingredients. So that sounds lovely as well. I did pick up the shade Fair 15R. It was kind of hard to guess my shade online, but this one sounded like the best match. So this is what the inner packaging looks like. This is very beautiful. It definitely looks a lot like the concealer. I don't currently have the concealer in my collection because I used mine up, but this is what it looks like. We have this chrome red cap, which I think is so pretty. And then we have a very heavy frosted glass bottle. We do have the white lettering on the side as well. And on the inside, we just have a black pump. Now, I will say I have worn this once already, and one thing to note is that it really is very, very important to shake this because I tried to pump it out without shaking it, and nothing came out. It's, it's a very thick formula, so I think it's very, very important to shake the product. And I also forgot to mention this does have a 12-month shelf life and is made in the U.S., so let's pump out a little bit on my palette. This also says that you can use it with a brush, a sponge, your fingers. I think I'm going to try a sponge on one side and my brush on the other. So let me pin the hair back and zoom you in and we can get to putting this on the face. So I'm planning to wear this until about 8 p.m. So we'll get a good 11 hour wear test. I have worn this once already, but I did have a hair appointment that day. So it was not a good day to actually test it out. And whenever I'm doing a foundation wear test, I like to prime one side of my face and not the other, just to see how the different sides look. So I do have my Refer Hydration Cream all over, and I think on one side I am going to add the Cali Ray So Blown Blurring Primer, just to see if it makes much of a difference to the finish. I am a little bit nervous trying a matte full coverage foundation on my dry skin. So we will see how that goes. Like I said, I do love the concealer and I do love some coverage, but matte full coverage foundations don't always work the best on dry skin. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit with my sponge. And even when you do shake it, it is a little bit thick. So just keep that in mind. I don't remember exactly what shade my concealer was in this formula. So I just kind of went with the one that sounded the best. This one looks a little bit light. I probably could have gone one shade up, like 20R maybe, but it's not terrible. It definitely does feel very, very lightweight. And recently I tried out the Huda Blurring Foundation that's supposed to give a lot of coverage, but also be very matte. And I actually loved that one. And I was so excited to find a matte foundation that works well for my dry skin because I'm just kind of over the super glowy, dewy look. I don't hate that look by any means. It's just that I don't always want to look super glowy. So I do love a good matte foundation. I love when my foundation dries down and I don't have to worry about my hair sticking to my face or anything like that. I like when I don't have to set my entire face. So I am pleased to see this resurgence of matte foundations, especially ones with coverage, but in a very modern formula, which is exactly what I'm getting from this. So you can see this did an incredible job with coverage. There's my skin and with the foundation. So it's definitely a little bit light, but I feel like overall it's really not that bad. Love the coverage level. I feel like this side is a little bit more of a medium, but it does look really, really nice. 
it doesn't look like it's clinging to any dry patches or settling into my pores weird. It's really not doing anything I don't want it to do. It just looks really nice. And it doesn't feel overly matte right now when I touch my face. It kind of feels like a moisturizer, which is interesting. Okay, I do want to go in on the other side with a brush and kind of see how that affects the coverage. It should honestly give me a little bit more coverage, but let's see. This does feel very, very lightweight on the skin, not at all heavy. It's not making my skin feel tight and dry either. It's very comfortable. So I was saying I have been really, really enjoying these more modern matte foundations. Like this is not like a 2016 matte foundation that is going to completely cover any sin you've ever committed to your skin, but that is going to be so heavy and cakey. This is actually just really, really nice. I okay, so as expected, I definitely got more coverage with the brush. I would definitely say I got that full coverage look with the brush over here, but this side looks more skin-like. And that's not to say that this side doesn't look like skin, but up close you can definitely tell I have something on over here too, but it definitely looks much more like skin. So I am just going to use my brush to add a little bit of coverage to this side. I really like how this is blending. Like I said, I did wear this the other day, but then I immediately went to a hair appointment. So I really couldn't monitor anything. Okay, so we definitely got the full coverage. I do feel like I am completely <laughs> blanked out. Definitely looking a little flat. This is definitely one where you need to add some color back to the face, but I do really like the coverage though. It did a really nice job. I am still thinking this shade is a bit too light, but that's okay. I am gonna go in with my House Labs concealer. I think this shade might match the best. So you definitely do get a lot more coverage when you use the brush, but the sponge definitely does keep everything looking nice and skin-like. So you can really sort of customize things a little bit, but I really do love the coverage and I love how lightweight and comfortable this feels. And I am incredibly picky when it comes to matte foundations, things like that, because I do have dry skin, so my skin will show problems really easily. So I'm going to pop off camera, put on the rest of my makeup, and come back to get this wear test started. All right, so the rest of the makeup is on, and I'm really liking how the makeup is looking. It is definitely matte, which I do appreciate. One thing I will note is that it doesn't fully dry down. I felt like I had to add powder all over my face because my hair was sticking to my foundation. So that is just something to mention. I did feel like I still had to powder, which I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to do with an all matte foundation. However, I do still think this looks really, really nice. I love the coverage level. I love how perfected my skin looks. And overall, I just think it looks really, really nice. So I am excited to see how this wears for the rest of the day. So it is currently about 9.30, so I'm going to go about the rest of my day, and I will see you guys at the end of the day with my final thoughts. All right, just popping in quickly to show you what this is looking like in natural lighting. And I think it actually does look really, really nice. It definitely doesn't look heavy or cakey. It almost has like a nice glow to it, which is interesting. The glow could be the finishing powder, but overall, I really like how this looks and it still feels incredibly lightweight. We have reached the very end of the day and I gotta say, the foundation is looking really good. It honestly, let me zoom you in and show you really quickly. So it still looks perfectly intact. I will say it actually is about 7.30, so I didn't quite make 11 hours, but I'm really tired. So I figured the extra half hour was okay. I really like how this looks. Again, this felt so lightweight all day long. Even in natural lighting, it looked just fine. And the shade, I think, ended up working out pretty well. So after about 10, 10 and a half hours, this is still looking really, really nice. This is definitely held up. And it's not breaking down anywhere that it shouldn't. So I did mention that I had to powder my whole face because I noticed my hair was sticking to my face, which I don't love. And I was a little bit nervous about powdering a matte foundation, especially with my dry skin, but it didn't make anything look heavy or cakey or anything like that. It didn't make anything cling to dry patches. It just 
sort of took any tackiness out of the foundation and it didn't bother me for the rest of the day. I did notice that it's still a really nice soft matte without looking too dry. It definitely stayed very, very lightweight as well. I don't feel it on my face. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing makeup, which is always a good sign. I love when I've got a full face of makeup that I feel really, really good about, but I can't actually feel it on my face. That is just perfect. I have really, really enjoyed this foundation today. I'm very, very surprised. And like I was kind of mentioning earlier, it's like there's been a whole revolution in matte foundations. I mean, we've had a lot of years of updates in technology, but we also went through a lot of years of super glowy foundations. So I'm excited to see more matte foundations coming back. And I'm really, really excited to see all of the upgrades and updates where matte foundations don't have to be the super thick, heavy, cakey foundations that they were in 2016. And now we're getting these super lightweight, comfortable, easy to wear, easy to blend matte foundations that are giving us full coverage without any of that bad stuff. As a dry skin type, I never thought I would be able to wear a matte foundation, even though that really is what I go for sometimes. So I'm really, really pleased with this and I'm surprised it works so well on my dry skin. Like I said, even with all of these updates, I wasn't 100% sure if my dry skin could handle a matte foundation, but it actually seems to be handling this one really well. And like I said, it stayed very, very comfortable throughout the day. I've really enjoyed this. I will also say that once I powdered it down, definitely transfer proof. It definitely didn't move around on me. Obviously, I did get a really amazing coverage. I was worried about the shade at first, but once I moved to natural lighting, it really wasn't that bad, and it actually seemed like a much better fit. I do think if I were to repurchase this one, I would probably go one shade up just just in case, but I do still think this shade can work pretty well for me. But I do think this is one that once I put it on, I do absolutely have to add in some bronzer and blush. This isn't one I'm going to wear to just even out my skin tone. This needs color added back in. So it definitely is a soft matte, but after about 30 minutes, my hair is still sticking to my face, so I did add powder. So it doesn't dry down the quickest. Waterproof and sweatproof, that is one I'm going to have to try to test a little bit more. Uh, long wear and weightless absolutely won't clog pores. I hope not. So basically, I agree with almost all of the claims that are there, and I can't wait to keep wearing this one. I'm so excited to have a matte foundation in my collection that works for me. The Huda Easy Blur is definitely more medium coverage. This one will definitely give you a solid full coverage, especially if you go in with a brush. If you want a little bit more of a skin-like finish, definitely go in with that sponge and you'll get that too but I love the packaging. I really like the product. I'm so glad I do. I kind of thought I might based on how much I love the concealer in this line, but I really, really love it and I'm very pleasantly surprised. But I will, of course, keep wearing this and keep testing it out and I will, of course, include this in my speed reviews at the end of October. But that is it for me today. Please let me know all of your thoughts down below. I love hearing from you guys so, so much. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload new videos every single week. Thank you again so very much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!